that. And we will try to do the best in the future. Thank you for your remarks. And Madam Miriam Dadi, so-called other speakers. <laughs> Thank you, Chair, for putting me in the category of so-called other speakers. <laughs> no, first of all, um, let me start off by thanking the rapporteur um, because I went through his opinion, and in my opinion, it is a good basis from which we can expound further because he manages um, to touch on the most salient points linking together measures to address climate change and the competitiveness of our industry. And I would like to continue on this line of thought which he expounds on in his opinion because in Paris, in my opinion, the aim should be for all the world's major economies to set legally binding um, goals on emissions reductions in the medium and the long term to relieve the problem of carbon leakage and also open up new cost-effective reductions. And I believe that we need a system that would ensure that all countries um, in the Climate Change Agreement comply with their commitments. Fine, um, as was said also earlier, support should be given where needed, but all countries should be held accountable in case of non-compliance. And finally, effective carbon pricing is considered indispensable to address properly climate change, and as was mentioned also in the opinion, um, backloading and the proposal for a market stability reserve are definitely a good step forward, but it, it is still unclear whether these can rectify the fundamental weakness of the European um, ETS. And I think here it is important to highlight the benefits of linking carbon markets with the main one being cost efficiency as a result of increasing the pool of emissions reductions available, which then could provide for not only the creation of a level playing field, but at the same time help increase the climate ambition. Some other points that I would like to see um, emphasized in the opinion um, is the link that exists between climate change and the marine environment, and also the blue economy, which we voted upon earlier today, and also vis-a-vis -vis transport, being the second biggest greenhouse gas emitter um, after the energy sector. And in this scenario, the need to shift the environmental factor away from the national to the international and new policies need to transcend geographic borders if we really want to address climate change and retain our industry's competitiveness. So my proposals vis-a-vis -vis this opinion would be in this regard. Thank you.